Hello, so we are back solving puzzles. Today we are solving the Hanayama cast square puzzle. We're fresh off last time or two weeks ago when we solved the hardest puzzle we've ever done, which was this one, the hourglass puzzle. Now I'm anticipating the square puzzle not being quite as hard as the hourglass, partly because this is a level five out of six difficulty rating, whereas the hourglass was a level six out of six. Plus, just the look of it, it looks much simpler to solve. It's a very cool looking puzzle, it looks very almost like a funky jigsaw type thing. Probably not going to be quite as easy as a jigsaw, but let's see how we get on. So, here it is, the square puzzle, and this is a very, very nice looking puzzle. What I didn't expect is that it's identical on the back as it is on the front. I didn't expect that, I don't know why, but I expected almost like a, just a blank back. Although there's not really a front or a back because both sides are, are they exactly the same. The look it anyway. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to get from this position into these four pieces. I need to bear in mind what it said on the box. What did it say? What's more, these pieces have a secret. Each time that arrangement is changed, when recreating the original shape, the solution changes. So I need to bear that in mind as we're going along. Ooh, this, that looks cool. So I'm guessing, yeah, every time I'm, well, this is clearly the original position, but what changes when we sort of separate out? Feels like that's as open as it's gonna get right now. Then next it feels natural to sort of have some movement this way, up and down. But how does the solution change every time it returns to the original position? Does that mean that you're making progress by getting it into a certain position and then moving it back and then getting it to a different position? Or does it mean it's you're starting again from scratch and the solution or you have to do a different thing that you did have to do before? This is, I don't know how this is staying together. Because it looks like it should be just so loose, but I guess because there's a bit on top here and a bit on the bottom here, then they can't just separate like that easily. I can see in the underneath this silver bit here, you might be able to see it on the camera just down there. That bit's like hollow. So this bit underneath here in there looks hollow. And the same thing for underneath there and for underneath there. So they would it would make sense that they would, yeah, so it looks like all all the little arm bits here have like a, a hollow bit on the inside or the end, at least the end of each arm. Yeah, you can see that slightly. And that would indicate that there's something then sort of in the tracks of here, keeping those together. Otherwise, why would they need to be hollow? I've got no idea what other movements we can get. Got a bit of separation there. So I can see when we sort of look down that gap that there are pins on the, what I think is each of these little, these little arm things here. So I'm guessing there's one there, there's one there, one there, one there. And on this side, there, 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 and there. So now we've had a bit of a play around with it. We've not really got very far, but now let's try and think about what a, what a solution could possibly look like. Now, just looking at it sort of straight on, there's no sort of identifying things as to what each bit is. I mean, it says square Hanayama here, but it only says it on that one. So I'm guessing that either both silver bits are exactly the same and both gold bits are exactly the same or they're just all exactly the same. And if they're all exactly the same, it makes me think that, right, so it's probably not a case of untangling two bits or one bit or three bits. It's probably a case of there's a position where all four bits separate at the same time. Almost like the delta puzzle. I feel like there's um, possibly a position where everything just sort of just slightly skips past each other and all four bits in this case separate at the same time. 
When we come back together, this position always seems to get stuck here with like a little rectangle there. I don't understand how the solution changes every time you go back to the same position. I don't understand that. Yeah, I don't know what to do next. If you've got any ideas, please comment below with what you think or what you would do. Watching me frustratingly just repeat the same steps. What would you do differently? <laughs> no idea how that happened, but where's the other big one? How did that work? We got it apart. We solved it in like, I don't know, 20 something minutes. Interesting. What are these things doing? Right, let me figure out what is going on in here. So before we put it back together, yeah, I, I don't know, I can't explain why yet, but obviously these, these things that are falling down in here are obviously what keeps it together. Got, you've got one of these in every single one on, off, on ex in exactly the same place. Because all, all these pieces, apart from the two being different colours, I think they're all exactly the same. And obviously what these grooves then do actually matter, because it's those grooves that these things in here slide into. And obviously there, they now can't come apart. Of those things that are in the way. I'm not sure as to like if there's a correct order or something like that as to how they separate. And now I, I like these, these two bits are genuinely stuck together. Now I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to get these apart now. Wow, that's so clever. I thought it'd have to be all four bits have to be together for it to for it to separate. So God knows how we got it, uh, how we got all four bits to come apart at exactly the same time. I'm gonna have to figure that out. So first of all, we're gonna have to go up putting it back together and then I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure out how the puzzle actually works uh, and then I'll come back to you. Then we'll summarize at the end and hopefully I'll have something to explain to you that's better than, wow, look at this, this, is, this must be how it works. And I'll actually have something concrete to tell you about. So here we go, so let's put it back together first. So that was easy enough. Now I'll try and figure out why that works and how it works. Okay, so I just spent the last half an hour, 40 minutes, trying to figure out what just happened. How did we separate each bit all in one go? But there was no routine that I was following. There was no strategy that I was thinking, maybe if we pull this one and then this one and then this one, it was just potluck, I guess. What I have managed to notice is that there is a slight difference between the silver bits and the gold bits. Now, early on, we talked about there being grooves in like the arms of each piece. And they are important, or they are where the difference lies, because the grooves in the gold bits are sort of like walled at each end. So if, if this is the arm shape, there's those little hanging bits that kept dropping down, similar to what's in the news puzzle. Those, as soon as they get into that gap, they can't get out, unless you flip them upside down and, and you get the pin to drop. However, on the, sing on the silver bits, there is like almost like a ramp coming up. So at the end of the arm, it's sort of like a straight down wall. But as you, if you were to push them back together, there's a ramp for the pin to sort of slide up and retract back into. And I think it's when, it's, well, it's quite clearly, it opens when all those four pins are out of the way. 
almost exactly in the same way as these uh, as the pins in the news puzzle but on this one how you get the pins out of the way is that you spin you spin it and each pin sort of comes apart that doesn't work with this square puzzle because the pins are sort of downwards or hanging downwards. From testing it, the spin doesn't work with this. It is about using the ramps on the uh, or in the arms of the silver bits that gets this open. I'm not a hundred percent sure of like the routine that you have to go through or the way that you open it just yet, but when i do the proper solution video for this puzzle in a couple of weeks i will in that time have mastered this and the reasons why it opens so hopefully that very nondescript explanation of how this puzzle works helps you in some way or gives you a little, at least a little bit of understanding of how it opens the good news is we managed to solve it and we managed to solve it relatively quickly the last puzzle that we did the hourglass that i mentioned the the new hardest puzzle that took us about two hours and 10 minutes or just short of that whereas this one took i think around 22 23 minutes possibly a little bit less so this is a much much quicker puzzle even though it is a level five out of six difficulty according to Haniyama. Personally, I would say it's maybe a level, a level four, I guess. I like the level fives and the level sixes to have steps to solving them. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the higher levels being ones that open all in one position. I like there to be a, a routine or a steps to follow or a some sort of progression to getting it open rather than yeah one place one position everything falls apart i feel like the level threes and the level fours should be more along those lines i'll follow that pattern so from that you're gonna guess or you can guess that in terms of where this ranks on our difficulty scale easiest to hardest this one's not gonna be up the high end based on time based on how it opens even though there was it wasn't figured out the solution wasn't masterminded and i knew how it opened it was luck in a sense but the harder puzzles you shouldn't be able to be lucky with these ones the luck should not play a part in solving the harder puzzles in my opinion so because of that we're going to start down this low end and we're going to work our way up so uh, this is harder than the loop is harder than the news puzzle which is level six again disagree with that completely it's harder than the violon it is <clears throat> ah, to be honest is it even harder than the violon and the dot probably is the yeah i'd say it's harder than both of those is it harder than the cake puzzle the cake we sort of we know or we knew it was going to be a certain position that opened it and eventually we figured it out so it probably is harder than that the delta puzzle really not sure about these ones the delta the donuts ah uh, is it harder than those it's definitely easier than the elk which is also a level five so it's definitely easier than this one is it easier than the donuts puzzle no i think it's harder than the donuts puzzle but it's not quite as tough as the elk puzzle so i guess there we go it's going to sit between the donuts and the elk puzzle so there we go it sits very much in the bottom half of the puzzles that we've done relative to difficulty that doesn't take away from how good the puzzle is though it's a it's massive to be honest it's massive it's very heavy it looks very pretty with the gold and the silver colors uh, it works really well it's a very smart puzzle yeah i i enjoy it it wasn't the quickest or it wasn't the longest sorry and the most challenging but it's still a very very good looking puzzle one problem i am having is i'm running out of space to be able to show all these i'm not quite sure how we're going to line them up in the future when we do genuinely run out of room if you have any suggestions for how i should line them up so that they can all be seen and stay in the same order or in an order of difficulty then please suggest below with your comments but thank you very much for being here if you enjoyed the video please click like please comment with whatever you want to comment below with if you want to watch or solve some more of these puzzles then click those two videos over there you can click my face just here to subscribe and i'll see you next time peace